Ok. Ok. Thank you very much. Gracias. Okay, okay. Eh, Luis, le voy a escribir. Ok, está bien. Ok, well, let's see. Eh, who else is around? Carlos Edgardo. Hello, good evening, Carlos Eduardo, Edgardo. Hello, I don't hear you. Well, perhaps having trouble with it. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Perhaps we can fix it later. Let's see. Uh, Tara Elisa, hello, good evening, how are you? Hello, teacher. Um, I'm great. You're great? That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. And tell me, what about you? How was your day? Uh, it was normal. I did the laundry and the dishes and I practiced a little bit the English. Oh, really? That's nice. You practice it a little bit. That's excellent. Okay, well, welcome to the class. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Carla Lisette, hello, good evening. Teacher, una pregunta. Karen Elizabeth dijo o Carla Lisette? No Carla Lisette, I'm sorry. Carla Lisette. Ok. Let's see. Oh, well. Karina Alejandra, hello. Good evening. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, guys, let's make a small review. Yesterday, we were working with comparatives. Do you remember? We were making comparisons. Like uh, I was giving you the example, like uh, today was harder than yesterday, okay? And yesterday was colder than today. They remember we were explaining the rules, how do we use it? We were watching the, the platform, the exercises from the platform, and we were also working with the manual, right? So today we are going to continue working with both things. Just give me a second. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Oh, before I move on, I need to get the, the attendance, please, guys. So let's see, Amanda Yamilet Chicas de Rajo. Andrea Gabriela Maravilla Guzmán. Present. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Uh, Carmen Lisset Santillana de Retana. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. I got you. No problem. Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivan Ibrahim Ramirez Quijano. Present teacher. Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez Ochoa. Okay. Uh, Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present. Thank you. Jose Alberto Enriquez Guillén. Present. Thank you. Jose Alexander Hernández Sorto. 
Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelara. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. Carla Lisette Martínez Navarro. I'm here. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Present teacher. Catherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. María Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. Present. María Dolores García de López. Present teacher. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Melissa Stephanie Linares Urquilla. Nelson Present. Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Thank you, Melissa. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Osmin Vidal Rivera Baños. Present teacher. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Present. Thank you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yolanda del Carmen Hernández López. Present. Thank you. Okay, I'm missing just three persons. Okay, well. Well, guys, let's see, let's see. We have a lot to work with tonight and it's very, 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 very interesting. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. Just give me a second that this thing is opening, opening, opening. Sorry, guys, that my internet connection is kind of slow today. And it's like giving me a little bit of trouble. Okay. Today we are going to work with questions of choice. We are going to start working with questions of choice. This is a very, very interesting topic. And let me see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, we're oh, right here. I'm sorry for the delay. Here we go. Hi, in this class we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in Part A of Exercise 3 again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Okay, that was related. We were going to see it in detail in the manual, but I needed you to listen to the pronunciation, okay? And we also got us a conversation. The conversation we are going to analyze slowly, okay? So first, I need you to listen to the pronunciation. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. 
Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, we're going to listen to it one more Did time. Did you get it? Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay, guys, let's see. Questions about the vocabulary. Is there any question about the vocabulary? Teacher, I have yes. a question. Yes, when tell me. Scott, when Scott say, oh, I did, I did not, I did not that, es como una forma de abreviar la, eh, hacer más fluida la conversación, o, o como, porque yo lo leería, I didn't know, know that. Oh, I didn't know that. I ah, didn't know dice, that. A veces le escucho como, I didn't know that, algo así. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's shorter. Remember that when people are speaking, sometimes they make words shorter. So you say, oh, I didn't know that. Didn't if know you that. see, when I say it like that, I didn't know that. Didn't know you that. barely, barely listen to this D, D and barely listen to the T. It becomes almost like an R. I didn't know that. Okay. Okay, thank you. No problem, no problem. Any other question, guys? Yes, teacher. Um, how do you pronounce? It has lot, lot of farm. Well, exactly like that. It has lots of farms. Lots it of. has lots of farms. Now, this F, when you have O F just with one F, uh, I will stop chair just for a second. Okay, let's see. When you have, and I repeat, when you have just one F, you pronounce it as a V, V. You do not close your lips, you see? V, of, of. Um. Yes, because if you say of, that's the word, uh, let me text it here in the chat. Uh, if you say of, what you are saying is this, look, off, that's off, and we are saying of, of, just one F, that F is pronounced as if it were a letter V, got it? It has lots of farms, of farms, of, of farms. The F that sounds there is the one in farms. La F que suena es la que va en farms. We don't say we ha it has lots of farms. It has lots of farms, of farms. Okay. I got it, I got it. Teacher. You got it? Remember, the other B is, the other B is B. This one is, it's just like blowing of, of okay oh. yes teacher thank you okay, okay. Thank you. let me see where was i okay any other question guys mm. how do you pronounce mom mom 
mountain, mountains. 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 Mount. Mountains. You can say mountains. mountains or you can say mountains. Some people don't pronounce this T. A veces no pronunciamos esta T. You will hear some people saying mountains and it's okay. You will hear people saying mount and it's okay. But you will also listen to people saying mountains, mountains, not pronouncing the T. Van a escuchar personas que no pronuncian la T and that's correct. También es correcto, okay? It's like with internet. Some people say internet. Some people say internet. Both pronunciations. Yes, tell me. Este, I want to know who, who is the pronunciation, the meters high. Meters, meters. Meters high. Meters high. Uh, the, the, uh, the numbers. Oh, 3,800. 3,800. Okay. Let's in, see. In the next, in the next two, two thousand. Two, two thousand. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do something. I will make a small pause here, guys, so I can share for everybody and it's clear. Okay, the situation is this. You have, uh, you have a, 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 a look. Well, yes. in this case, you have, I'm sorry. That's hundred. Okay. Teacher, no sé si solo yo tengo ese problema, pero yo veo bastante borroso. No sé si los compañeros también perciben la pantalla bien. Se ve bien, se ve bien. Veo bien. Okay, I'm so sorry. No, but don't worry. I will send a, a screenshot. Voy a enviar un screenshot. Okay. Para que todos lo tengan. Okay, remember. The, in this case, you have, look, 100. In the second case, you have 200, right? That's when you got hundreds. Then you have, look at this one. If you see, we got here 1,000, okay? And in the next one, what would it be? Como sería? 2,000. Exactly, 2,000. Now, then you have this, look. This one will be? Three thousand. Three thousand eight hundred. Three thousand. Eight hundred. Okay. Three thousand eight hundred. It's clear, no? Yes. But yes, what teacher. about this one? Look at this one. Who can read it for me? Can me lo lee? Me teacher. Okay, say it, say it. 3,825. Okay, very good. 3,000, comma, 825. Now look at this. And, 25. And 25. 25. When you read it, you read it like this. Cuando lo leemos, le agregamos el end. You see? We have this here. 3,825. You can say 3,825. It's correct also. It is also correct. Both ways are correct. The only difference is perhaps that this is more formal. You will listen this to all people like me. Se lo van a escuchar más a personas ancianas como yo. That we use the end. Okay. The same happens with, uh, with dates. You know, 
Lo mismo sucede con fechas. Ok, like, uh, I will give you an example. I was born in December 17th. 1979, okay? I was born in December 17th, 1979. Now, I was born in December the 17th. Do you listen how I read it? I was born in December the 17th. Sometimes. The article the. Exactly. Some people use the article the. This is never written, but people say it. Algunas personas lo dicen. I say it. Yo lo uso. It's just a little bit more formal, okay? And it's a little bit old-fashioned also. Y también es un poquito antiguo. As I am. You got to understand that. Okay? Questions? No, teacher. No question. No question, teacher. Okay, perfect. Now, if you bear with me, si me tienen un instante de paciencia, I want to share with you. ¿Les parece si les comparto lo que acabo de... Describir. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, just let this thing to load. And I will share it with you guys. Okay, let me just see if I can make it a little bit smaller so everybody can have it. There you go. Okay, guys. Yeah, those are little details. I mean, little things that actually help. Son pequeñas cosas que realmente ayudan in order for us to speak better, like... Uh, do you know the how to pronounce the article? Sabemos la pronunciación del article? Do you remember it? Yes. The. The. Okay. Yeah. How do you pronounce this word? The elephant. The elephant. The elephant. The elephant. Okay, perfect. You are using the correct pronunciation. When it comes before a vowel, it's D. When it precedes a vowel sound, cuando está antes de un sonido vocal, is D. When it is before a consonant sound, is the or da. Okay? Some people say da. Some people, they don't say the. Some people, they say da. Okay, the house, the problem. Some people say the house, the problem. Questions o sea, up to teacher, here? Yes, teacher, tell me. O sea que podemos, podemos pronunciarlo dependiendo de la ocasión de tres maneras diferentes. D, da, de. Yes. D, okay, de and da is the same. Just D, remember, is used before a vowel sound. Okay, this is used before a vowel sound. This se utiliza antes de un sonido vocal. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Good clarification, teacher. No, no, don't worry, don't worry. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Okay, guys, in your manuals, we are gonna work in page number 25. Okay. 25 on your manual. And let me share with you so you can. Teacher. Yes, mister. Uh, I have uh, one question. Yes, tell me. Uh, in a conversation que aparecía, decía, maybe. Uh, ese, ese poder, significa podría, verdad? Or maybe. Uh -oh. 
Maybe, pero, yeah. Quizás, ajá. quizás. Ajá, entonces, pero también está el cold, cold ¿verdad? Could. Could, ajá. Could, y, let's y ese see. también pues, tiene que ver con podría o... Oh, yes, but, ok. Let me see, let me see, let me just check. Yes, we got time. Y, ta y también está el, el can, ¿verdad? Entonces... La vez pasada yo quería hacer esa pregunta en una eh, clase. No problem, no problem. No, no. Entonces quisiera saber como que en qué momento puedo ocupar cuál. De... No sé si el teacher la respondió al final y yo no escuché, pero disculpe si la vuelvo a preguntar. Ok, guys. Do you know how to use? What's the difference between can, could, maybe? El resto, ¿comprendemos? Bear with me. Denme unos minutitos so I can explain. Un par de minutos. This is very easy and very short. Más o menos, más o menos. Okay, let's make it clear. Can. You use can when you express an ability. Usamos el can cuando expresamos una habilidad. Okay. So it usually comes before an action that we can perform. Entonces viene antes de una acción que podemos realizar. As an example, let's see. I can, I can play the, the trumpet. I can play the trumpet. Yo puedo tocar la trompeta, you see? I can dance salsa. Yo puedo bailar salsa. Now, there you are expressing an ability. Ahí expresamos una habilidad. El problema no viene tanto en el inglés, sino que el problema recae en nuestro español. Que nosotros decimos, este, eh, usamos el yo puedo indistintivamente en algunas ocasiones. Cuando realmente el could no es puedo, es podría. ¿Ok? El could es podría. I could go to the party. Yo podría ir a la fiesta. You express a possibility. Si se recuerda el can, ability. Could, possibility. ¿Ok? Es, también se sí. utiliza... Um, algunas personas le dirán que es el pasado del Ken. Pero no es, no es tan simple y estaríamos quedando unos cortos con el verbo. Porque sí, I, I could have gone to the party. Yo podría haber ido a la fiesta. Estoy expresando una posibilidad pasada. ¿Ok? Pero si yo quiero decir una, la capacidad que yo tenía, la habilidad que yo tenía de hacer algo en el pasado, no digo... I could play the trumpet. Sino que digo, I was able, yo era capaz de play the trumpet. Si yo digo, I could play the trumpet, estoy diciendo, yo podría tocar la trompeta. ¿Ok? Entonces, el could me está expresando una posibilidad. Algo que podría suceder. Se usa con los condicionales. ¿Ok? I could play the trumpet again if I practice. Podría tocar la trompeta de nuevo si practicase. ¿Ok? ¿Vamos bien hasta ahí? Yes, teacher. Ok. Maybe. Lo que sucede es que maybe quiere decir específicamente usémoslo para que no se haga bolas. Es quizás. O. Tal vez. Tal vez. Lo que sucede es que nosotros en español a veces decimos puede ser. Y ese puede ser lo expresamos con maybe. Pero recuérdese, puede ser no está hablando de una, no está expresando la misma probabilidad que expresamos con el could. Ni está expresando la habilidad que expresábamos con el can. Sino que está diciendo quizás, tal vez, más tal vez, porque quizás también es perhaps. Pero el maybe anda en este grupo, en ¿eh? perhaps, maybe, ¿ok? ¿Qué les parece si les pongo una oración? Todavía no lo veo convencido, Nelson. Y mi trabajo es convencerlo. ¿Les parece, guys, si, si luego... Sí, teacher. He visto en algunas oraciones el perhaps. Yeah, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Sí que se utiliza bastante. Ok. Sí, yes. he visto. Aclárenos ahí, teacher, please. 
Oh, con gusto, con gusto. My pleasure. Okay, look. Can y could ellos pertenecen a los modal verbs. Esto es parte de los modal verbs, ¿verdad? Son parte de los verbos de modo. Ok. En el caso de can, express an ability. When we say that we can express an ability, cuando decimos que podemos expresar una habilidad, eh, we are saying something that we can do. Estamos hablando de algo que nosotros podemos hacer. To express a skill. Exactly. To express a skill. Vaya. El could, le digo de que a veces se entiende como una, como una past ability. En algunas ocasiones se entiende como past ability. ¿Por qué les digo de que a veces des, nos dicen de que el, ah, el could es el pasado del Ken? Sí. Pero no solo eso. It expresses something that uh, expresa algo que una habilidad que nosotros tuvimos. ¿Ok? Una habilidad que se tuvo en el pasado. O algo que en general era posible en el pasado. Como por ejemplo, I tell you, eh, I can run for miles. Yo puedo correr muchas millas. ¿Ok? So, can expresses an ability. An example, I can run for miles. Could expresses a past ability. Ahora bien, this tenemos que verlo dentro del contexto cómo funciona. No puedo ponerle simplemente la oración I could run for miles. Look at this. When I was young, cuando yo era joven, I could run for miles. ¿Captamos la diferencia? El contexto me está aclarando la idea, el uso. You see? When I was young, cuando yo era joven, podía correr por millas. Teacher, o yes. sea que Kuhn es como el pasado de Ken. Se puede entender como el pasado de Ken. Ok. Yo pude o yo podría. Yo pude. Ah, 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 hold on. Cuando yo era joven, yo podía. Sí. Yes. Y es que eso es lo complejo, ¿verdad? Que a veces una palabra, yo he escuchado que una puede significar muchas, pero muchas cosas. ¿no? Ok, y aquí voy. Past ability. Ahora vean esto. Possibility. Una posibilidad. And you ask me, how? Y usted me dice, ¿cómo es eso? Ok. I could be the one to explain the models for you. En este caso, la oración que me dice, yo podría ser quien, ¿sí? Yo podría ser quien le explique los models. Es una possibility, right? No yes. está hablando sobre el pasado. Está hablando sobre el presente. Y it can be a condition. Y también nos puede expresar una condición.
ahí nos metemos ya a otro tema. Que no voy a explicar, pero sí se lo voy a ejemplificar, ¿ok? When do we express a condition? Cuando exp expresamos una condición. Eh, let me give you an example. Creo que con ejemplos se nos hace más fácil, ¿verdad? Oops. If I, if I had money, I could travel around the world. Look at this. Veamos esto. Si yo tuviese dinero, Podría I could viajar travel. por el mundo. Exactly. But if you see, pero si notamos algo, if we notice something, this, aquí está cumpliendo casi la misma función, ¿verdad? Está expresando que yo podría ser quien Una explique los modos. I could travel around the world. Yo podría viajar alrededor del mundo. Lo mismo, ¿verdad? Una posibilidad. Yes. Solo que en este caso se convirtió en condición. ¿Por qué? Va sujeta a una... Exactly. Por el if. Exactly. Por el if. Porque el if es sí de condición, ¿verdad? Es que utilizamos para crear condicionales. Las oraciones condicionales son aquellas que no trabajan solas, sino que están estructuradas por medio de dos cláusulas que son dos oraciones dependientes una de la otra. Acá tengo una oración dependiente. Acá tengo dos oraciones que son, que son dependientes una de la otra. Esta es independiente. You see? If I had money, si la condición se diese, I could. ¿Me he explicado ahora? Es como una superficie, algo así. Es algo que... Lo que pasa es que las condiciones expresan eso. Las condicionales expresan algo que si la condición se cumple en un momento, el resultado se verá en el otro. Es y, como que estamos suponiendo, teacher. Sí, por ejemplo, si yo trabajo duro, yo cubriré mis deudas. Ahora bien, yo soy muy aragán. Y usted viene y me dice, ah, si usted trabajase duro, cubriría sus deudas. Ahí es el could. Hay una acción que activa el could. Exacto. Y bueno, quebré, me declaro en quiebra. Y vienen ustedes y me dicen, hey, teacher, si usted hubiese trabajado duro, you could have paid your debts. Usted podría haber pagado sus deudas. Siempre en pasado, ¿verdad? Si se fijan, Acá el could habla de una pasability, habla de una possibility, pero nunca para futuro. Puede ser presente o pasado, no futuro. Las posibilidades futuras utilizan otro verbo, ¿ok? Otro de los verbos de modo, pero no el could. Hasta este momento, how is it? ¿Cómo vamos hasta acá? Gracias. ¿Ahora sí quedó bien? Sí. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Y el maybe es una expresión. Maybe es una expresión, ¿ok? Esta es una expresión completamente aparte, ¿ok? Maybe it's a totally different enchilada, my friend. Esto es otro asunto. Why? Because maybe quiere decir tal vez. Simplemente eso. Ok, that's the way you got to understand it. De esa manera entendámoslo, como tal vez. Eh, ¿Quieren que les comparta este desorden que tengo acá? Por favor, teacher, comparte. Ok, ok, ok. Teacher, please. No problem, no problem. I'm going to do it right in this moment. En este instante lo hago. Ah, I like those questions. Me encantan esas preguntas. Because yo they help teacher, the whole group. Creo, yes, teacher, yo, creo, 
yo creo que me quedaría mejor con el Ken y el Maybe. <ríe> el Q es muy difícil. <ríe> no, no, actually, you will see, it just takes time. Les soy honesto, simplemente lleva un poquito de tiempo, but it's easy. It's easy, very easy. Like, eh, vengo yo y le digo, Ivan, Hi. can you lend me one million dollars? Me podría prestar, me puede prestar un millón de dólares. And Ivan me dice, ah, teacher, I could. Yo podría, but um, I don't have it in cash. No lo tengo en cash. I have it invested. Lo tengo invertido. ¿Ok? Cuando estamos diciendo, cuando estamos expresando el CUD, estamos expresando una posibilidad que, para comenzar, se puede dar. No es real. Porque las posibilidades no son reales. ¿Verdad? Recordemos eso. Es una posibilidad. Es algo que no es real en este instante. I could study more if I had time. Yo podría estudiar más si tuviese dinero. ¿Ok? I could speak another language. Yo podría hablar otro idioma. But I never have time to study. Pero nunca tengo tiempo para estudiar. Like you know, I am, I am trying to learn Italian. Estoy tratando de aprender italiano. But uh, I never seem to have the time. Pareciera que nunca tengo el tiempo. I could, I could study. I think I'm able to. Creo que sí tengo la capacidad de. Si yo digo, I can do it, es puedo. Ok. If I say, I could, estoy hablando de una posibilidad. No es seguro. Ok. Teacher, yes. Existe el I will can. No. Le explico <risa> por qué. The situation is this. Normalmente nos han contado a nosotros que el will es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Right. Para formar el futuro. Sí. Lo que no nos han contado es que el will también entra dentro de los modals. Y usted no va a colocar dos modals juntos. Correcto. El modal siempre lleva un verbo a la par en su forma simple. Ok, en su forma base. Y si nosotros recordamos cuando hablamos, when we use the will, we add a verb in the base form, right? Right. So we cannot say I will can. No. If you want to express a future ability, si usted quiere expresar una habilidad futura, I will be able to. Podrí, sería capaz. Exactly. What are you expressing? A future ability. Una habilidad futura. Right? Está expresando una habilidad right. en futuro. I will be able to. Ser capaz de. Yo creo, teacher, de que, bueno, compañeros, que sería bueno practicar bastante el cool, el good, el maybe, el can, porque siempre se utiliza en oraciones. What about guys if... Uh, Leave that to me. Déjenmelo a mí. Ok. In the class, during the class, I will be using it. I will be using it. So, you will be getting it through listening. And it will become easier. Se le va a volver más fácil. Se me dejan que yo les ayude by me using it when I speak and when I ask you. Para si ustedes me dejan que yo lo use cuando hablo y cuando les pregunto a ustedes. That way, it will be part of a conversation. It's easier for us. Se nos vuelve más fácil instead of trying to make and make and make sentences. A veces se nos vuelve más fácil que hacer oraciones. And less stressful. Y menos stress. Like, I can, I can ask, uh, 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 Luis Eduardo, could you open your microphone, please? Look. Could you open your microphone? Hello, yeah. Luis. Hello, teacher. Hey, uh, could you tell me about a little bit about your family, if you don't mind? Could you tell me a little bit about your family? Podría contarme a little bit about your family? Un poco de su familia? 
And Luisa started like, yeah, I am married. I am single. Uh, Remember, when you answer, uh, you don't need to use the could. I am single. Okay. Um, I like I live with my parents. Okay. Um, I have two two brothers. Okay. Um, Excellent. That's enough. Okay. Now listen, man. I wish, yo deseara, I could remember what is to be single. I wish I could remember. Yo quisiera poder recordar what is to be single. Man, <laughs> it was too long ago. It was too long ago in my life. It was like, oh, 20 years ago. I've been married for 20 years. So it's so far away in my life. I don't remember. I wish I could remember it. You see, it's easy. So don't worry. We'll be using it. In the class, we'll be using it. And that way, it's going to be easier for you. Okay. I'll try to send you some exercises. Voy a tratar de enviarle unos ejercicios extra. Okay. So you can practice a little bit and it's going to be less stressful. As I told you, the idea is for you to practice and have less stress. Okay. Before I move on, antes de continuar, I need to get the, the second attendance. I'm so no, no, disculpe, nos comparte la el ejercicio que hicimos, por favor. Oh, didn't I? No se los compartí. Las reglas que estaba explicando, no, no lo ha mandado. El último, el último. Oh my gosh. This one. I got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, guys. Amanda Yamilet, chicas de rajo. Present teacher. Okay, Amanda, welcome. Thank you. And Andrea Gabriela Maravilla Guzmán. Present teacher. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla Antillón. Let's see. Brenda, 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 Brenda. <laughs> here and Carlos Elgardo Cruz Gonzalez Carmen Lisette Santillana de Retana present Francisco Antonio Calderón Rivera present teacher Ivan Ibrahim Ramirez Quijano present teacher Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez Ochoa Jorge Alberto Rivera Ramos. Present. José Alberto Enríquez Guillén. Present. José Alexander Hernández Sorto. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Avelar. Present teacher. Karina Alejandra Aquino Marroquín. Carla Lisette Martínez Present. Navarro. Thank you. Catherine Iracema Villalta Gómez. Present. Leticia Aide Flores López. Present. Linda Beatriz López de Fuentes. Present. Luis Eduardo Méndez Torres. I'm here. María Xiomara Guevara Ambrosio. Present. María Dolores García de López. Present. Maritza Elizabeth Rojas Cruz. Melissa Stephanie Linares Orquilla. Present. Nelson Rodimiro Pineda Rivas. Present teacher. Osmin Vidai Rivera Baños. Present teacher. Romeo Vladimir Rosales Alvarado. Present. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernández. Present. Wendy Paola López Martínez. Present teacher. Yolanda del Carmen Hernández López. Present. Ok, guys, let me see. Yes, Miss. Este, está volviendo a pasar lista. Yes. Es que no me mencionó. Sorry. Carla Stephanie Rivera de Alberto. Okay. Yes. Thank you thank for you. reminding me. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Now, 
This activity, imagine we're in page number 25 in your manual, okay? Estamos en la página 25 del manual. Imagine these people are planning to visit your country. What will they enjoy doing? Agree on a recommendation for each person. We got Molly, we got Roll, we got Teresa. I really like quiet places where I can relax, hike and enjoy the views. I can stand big crowds. I love to eat in nice restaurants, go dancing and stay out late at night. I don't like small towns. My favorite activity is shopping. I love to buy gifts to take home. I don't like modern shopping malls. Okay, guys, this activity, what we are going to do is this. I would like you to help me if you work it in a different way. We are going to make a little twist. Vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio, okay? We're going to do the activity like this. I'll tell you about what I like. Les cuento lo que yo, what I like, okay? So, let me see. I like quiet places. Oh, but I also love going to the beach. I love um, to watch the sunset. Me gusta ver los atardeceres. Because uh, I enjoy the, the quietness. I enjoy reading. Okay? And once in a while, I like going dancing. It's something that I, man, I, I enjoy with my family. We go dancing once in a while. It's fun. And let's see what else. Oh, and I love drinking coffee. Good coffee. Oh, delicious. So that's what I like. Now, I need you for tomorrow to think about which places in this country would you recommend for me? ¿Qué lugares me recomendarían? Okay. Which, con which places would you recommend to me? Now, I need you to please write down like three lines. Escriban unas tres líneas. I will recommend you, yo les recomendaría, like, uh, I will recommend you, oh, Carla Stephanie me dijo, oh, I will recommend you going to El Tunco. There you can have fun, you can go to the beach, and you can dance at the same time, you can enjoy food, okay? But Jose Alexander tells me, hey, teacher, you, you should go to El Pital. It's a beautiful place in the mountains with a delicious weather. You see, I need you to recommend me one place from our country. Okay, one place that you think I would like. Un lugar que ustedes crean que me podría gustar. Is it clear? ¿Entendemos? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. I would love it, guys, if you can send it to me before tomorrow before the class. Me encantaría que me lo enviaran mañana antes de la clase. That way I can check it. Just two, three lines. Write it down on a piece of paper. Take a picture. That's it. Okay? Tres líneas. Escríbalo. Audio? Just write it. Audio? Just write it. I don't need the audio. I will pick. I will pick. Ten of you. Voy a escoger diez de ustedes. For you to tell me. So... It could be you, it could be no. Podría ser usted, quizás no. Got it? It's going to be a surprise who's going to be. So, yeah, okay. of course, practice the pronunciation. It's going to be fun. I know that it's going to be fun. And it's always good practice when we can have conversations. So, before... Lo vamos... That will be yes? good. <laughs> ¿Lo vamos a mandar al grupo o privado? Up to you. For me, it's not a problem. If you send it individually... It's okay. If you send it to the group, it's okay. So it depends on you. I won't push you to send it to the group or to send it to me directly. It's just up to you. Depende de ustedes. Okay? Don't worry. I just need it. If you if you say like, eh, I just rather send it to you. Si usted decide, no, mejor se lo envío solo a usted. No problem. If you say, no, I would like to share it with my classmate. It's okay. That's not a problem. Okay? So. It depends on you. Don't worry about that. Now, before we finish, today we're going to finish Teacher. five minutes. Okay. Yes, Romeo. I'm, I'm sorry uh, for the question for you, but I don't know your name. Yesterday I connected. Oh, late. my 
bad, I'm my sorry. bad, my bad. Um, my name is Douglas Arevalo. Uh, well, yeah, actually, I didn't introduce myself to all of you. Sorry, guys. Perdón que ayer no me presenté ante todos. And because at the beginning, I was very short. Let me do it right now. My name is Douglas Arevalo, and I am an English teacher. I've been teaching English for 23 years now. Tengo 23 años de enseñar inglés. Uh, I've been teaching in different places like uh, I was teaching at Universidad Pedagógica. I taught for, uh, I have worked with uh, Universidad Don Bosco. I have worked with Regal International uh, here, Inglés Corporativo. I have also worked with um, Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, also in the INSA for courses. I've been teaching uh, with INSA for five years now. He estado trabajando con los programas de INSAFOR for five years. And I am certified by INSAFOR to work in all levels. Tengo una, una carta de acreditación para trabajar en todos los niveles. And let me see what else. I have worked as a translator. He trabajado como intérprete. For five years, I was working with a Catholic community. Trabajé cinco años con una comunidad católica. And I was working hand to hand with uh, some American fellows. Era una comunidad católica americanos. So it was a very good experience for me. It helped me a lot, actually. Me ayudó muchísimo. So I'm old. I mean, you know, ya estamos viejos. I got a lot of experience. That means we are old, which is good in a way. It's good in a way. I also work with kids. También trabajo con chicos. And I work with, uh, I work with kids and at a public school for the government, en una escuela pública. And I'm also in some projects. I'm in different projects. Estoy en distintos proyectos. I have also taught uh, TOEFL preparation. También he trabajado con TOEFL preparation. And I don't know, many stuff to do, muchas cosas por hacer. So it's a pleasure actually for me to be here with you guys. Es un placer para mí estar acá con ustedes. I know that uh regretfully i couldn't stay from the beginning uh, you had another teacher and regretfully he couldn't continue with you lamento que el compañero no pudo continuar con ustedes but uh, that's what we are here to help something very important what i was telling yesterday algo muy importante que les decía ayer never be afraid of making a mistake and if you cannot say something in english nunca tenga miedo de equivocarse and if you cannot say something in english don't worry Say it in Spanish, I will translate it for you, and you repeat after me. Dígalo en español, yo se lo voy a traducir y usted lo repite después de mí. Okay? And it's going to help because slowly you will be getting words. And when you let's think it, you will be thinking faster in English. El pensar en inglés es una habilidad que se adquiere through practice, a través de la práctica. This is like riding a bicycle. Esto es como montar en bicicleta. I mean... In order to learn, we have to fall. Para aprender hay que caerse, ¿no? It's the same. In order to learn, we have to make mistakes. And it's normal. I mean, it's part of learning. It's part of the learning process. So never be afraid of that because I'm here to help you. And as I told you yesterday, como les decía ayer, if 20 times you make the same mistake, I will help you. Si 20 veces equivocó, yo le ayudo. And if I explain something and it's not clear, y si explico algo y no está claro, tell me. So I can look for another way to explain it. Así yo busco otra manera de explicar. I mean, eh, no siempre la manera como uno explica es clara para todos. Y es normal. Aprendemos de maneras distintas. I know that for some of you, what it worked was when I was writing. Estoy seguro que para algunos de ustedes le funcionó cuando yo estaba escribiendo. Cuando lo vieron. For some of you, it was simple just to listen. Para algunos de ustedes tienen la habilidad que solo lo escucharon y easy. I know that for some of you, you will need to apply it. De que algunos de ustedes van a necesitar aplicarlo, usarlo ustedes in order to learn. And that's normal. Everybody's different. So whenever something is not clear, don't be afraid. No tengan miedo. You tell me. I'm here to help. Guys. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you being here on time. 
Uh, tomorrow, let's hope we don't have problem. Mañana espero no tener ningún problema. I will try to connect at least five or ten minutes before so we can start con having conversations. Eh, con los que se conecten antes, pues, que se puedan conectar antes. Mañana va a estar acá unos 10 minutos antes para que comencemos a conversar, ¿ok? I always like to talk to you. Me encanta hablar con ustedes. Have a good Straight night, Tisha. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. Thank you, Tisha. Oh, thanks Bye, to you. Bye, everybody. 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 Bye,